If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have our Team of the Week, Week 6 predictions, guys. You know it's Monday, it's that time of the week again. Who performed great on Sunday? Who deserves to get an upgrade? Who deserves to get the top card? Who deserves the LTDs? What past predictions will we make today that could come true? Hopefully, all of them. But guys, we are like two for six in the year when it comes to flashbacks. And I don't mean like total, I mean like per week. Right? If I get one flashback right, that's a dub for the week. We're two for six, which is actually really good. I think I went like 0 for 17 last year. Um, it's hard. It literally could be any defender or offense guy from any year that don't play anymore, right? That's like 50 years worth or more, right? 60 years. It's not the easiest thing to do. And I've gotten two right already. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, we got Miles Austin right. We got one of like the first week right, and we also should have gotten another one right, but I, I second guessed it last second, and I shouldn't have done it. But anyways, guys, let's get into this and start talking. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and of course, if you guys have a guy that you think deserves to get this card, comment down below so we can see who are the snubs, right? I want to see who you guys comment and then see who we get tomorrow. But yeah, let's get into this. So heading over to the auction block, let's start with the basic ones, right? Who are the guys? I opened up the packs. Who are the guys that are going to get the lower ones, right? Those are the guys that get, like, the um, the power-up increases, the power-up expansion, right? So, for the first guy, I'm going to go over a few of these that I don't really care to go over stat-wise, so they're not going to be anything significant. Marcus Golden. For the uh, Cardinals, had a really big game, sacked Baker a few times, really, really played well, and came away with some few, uh, I think, a key in, uh, strip sack as well. So, that was pretty good. Next, we have Deshaun Elliott for the Ravens. They killed the Chargers last, oh, yesterday. And he came up with a few big picks, as well as some big tackles and some swats. So he should probably get in a card as well. Another guy that's been playing pretty good this year is Max Crosby. I think he could actually get a pretty high team of the week card here. Now, not probably the top player. I believe he had... Oh, it's two X's, right? I believe he had two sacks this week. Three sacks this week. So Max Crosby. I don't know what car work. He's an 82 overall card. He could maybe get like a nice 85, 86. That could be pretty good. Nothing from like a God Squad standpoint. Cooper Cup, I think, is in line for a power upgrade, if not like the 87 overall card for the week. He currently has an 84. I would like to see him get like an 87 or at least a plus one to the plus one he already has, right? That'd be pretty cool as well. Um, Leonard Fournette. Lenny is actually having a pretty good year, and it seems like he's finally taken over that Tampa Bay backfield. He killed it last week against the Eagles. I mean, they barely scraped away with the win, but they, he killed it. He can maybe get like an 85, 86, 87 as well, so should be a pretty decent card. And then finally, guys, for the lower ones, we have Jalen Hurts. I think Jalen Hurts could have even contended for the top one, but he didn't perform that great in real life. He performed great from a fantasy standpoint, so I'm not sure how they're going to view that. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts currently has a 7th overall card. If we can get him an 87 overall card, right? Or like an 86. That'd be a really good upgrade. He'd probably end up with like 86 speed, 87 throw power. He'd be like, he'd be like what Lamar Jackson is, pretty much. I mean, he'd be, he'd be fun. He's definitely a fun card to have in Mutt. Definitely a fun card to play with. I hope he keeps... He's, he's been killing it from a fantasy standpoint. Like, again, I don't know how much that matters for Mutt upgrades, but I mean, I see some Jalen Hurts cards eventually. Would definitely be cool. Now, guys, for our legend heroes, our first was going to be John Abraham. John Abraham played for the Jets, the Falcons, and I think if maybe one more team or maybe a few more teams. He had three sacks and one forced fumble this date like 10 years ago, right? Like 2012. He had three sacks and a forced fumble. John Abraham has always been like a staple mutt, always been around. Um, usually gets a good card. And again, he's usually a legend, but he also falls right in line with a team of the week upgrade type card. John Abraham would be good for a few reasons. Primarily because he's typically a finesse rusher, I believe, and he's fast. He typically gets some pretty good speed in Excel, which this year, because of how good escape artists and scrambling quarterbacks are, you definitely are looking towards wanting a speedy end or edge rusher, right? Because this year, the edge rushers release easily, right? QB contain, they, they get off. The problem is you can just like run around them. So if you, the thing is when you run out with like a guy like Clays Campbell or any of the bigger ends, you can outrun them. But when you out, when you go against a guy with like moderately similar speed, like an 86 versus like a 92, it's, it's more than enough. Cause like that's enough for a pursuit angle and you'll notice it. So that's kind of the thing with John Abraham. He'd probably be really good from that standpoint. Next guy's another legend here, which I'd actually be so excited if we got this card. Robert Griffin the third RG3 flashback to 2012. This may have been his rookie year or close to it. 
Robert Griffin, guys, this car will be absolutely insane. Now, I don't know what to, how to kind of even model this card. Let's go with like Lamar Jackson. They kind of play similar to Lamar in terms of, you know, they run first, pass second in terms of how the team uses them at least. So let's go with this Lamar right here. RG3 had 138 yards and two touchdowns uh, passing. I mean, sorry, rushing. 138 yards and two touchdowns rushing. He was the top rusher of that week back in his time. And 182 passing yards and another touchdown. That's an insane line. That's like, it's, it's a double line right there. It's like a double-double if they had that in football, right? So, Lamar. This Robert Griffin III will probably a 92 to 93 overall powered up. So, we assume that RG3 will probably have a 91 or 92 speed, right? He probably have a 90 throw power. Probably have a 90 throw short. Probably have a high 80, medium, and deep. And have an above 90 throw on the run, throw under pressure, and play action. Now, the beauty of this RG3 car would be that, again, he'll probably get a skate artist, more than likely. He'll have good throw power. He'll have really good juke move, really good change of direction, really good spin, similar to what Lamar has here. Now, we can hope that if all goes well, an RG3 car would be, I don't okay, and hopefully they put him, they, they put him on, put, put him in a Washington football jersey, please. Put him in a Washington football jersey. Do not put him in a Ravens jersey. Do not put him anywhere else. I want him in a WFT football jersey. That'd be so cool to see Lam uh, RG3 back in the game. He actually backed up Lamar Jacks for like a year or two the last few years. But uh, otherwise, he'd be good. He'd be a fun card. He's one of my favorite players like ever that I've, wa that I've watched. Right, Not like my favorite player of all time, like, you know, best football player ever. Like my, one of the ones that I've watched, like he was so electric. I remember watching him in his rookie year when he went out. He went out He went out in the playoffs, which really sucked. I think it was against the Seahawks. They were going to win that game too, I'm pretty sure. But I don't remember, if, I, if I remember correctly, they were up like 14-0 on Russell Wilson. Or something like that. And RG3 got hit and took a hit and went out for game. And that was like the divisional too. So if they win that game, they go to the conference in which they had a chance to maybe knock off the the Niners. The Niners. I think that was the other Niners went to the went to the bowl. So that would have been that year. Yeah. But nonetheless, guys, exciting. Next, guys, I'm gonna skip my current hero and stick with my LTD current. This is the LTD player from past years, right? From this week. So I'm going with Lamar Jackson. That's why I'm staying here because I can go over this card as well. Lamar Jackson had, just like RG3, 152 yards rushing and one touchdown like in 2019 on this week. He was the number one rusher in the NFL that week at quarterback and also had another 236 passing yards, which is crazy. 400 combined yards, including 150 of pass rushing, which is just crazy, and a touchdown. Now, Lamar Jackson, as the LTD current, would have like a 94 overall, I'm pretty sure, you know, powered up and everything. He'd probably go crazy. So that's a plus seven overall on Lamar Jackson. Plus seven. Plus seven on Lamar Jackson, he probably gets a 93 to 94 speed, which makes him crazy fast. He already can get a skate artist, right? Uh, he, will, he will get a skate artist. His throw power would be above 90. His short would be above 90. His medium would come close and deep would come close like 88, 87s. His, his throw under pressure would be like a 91, 92. His throw on the run would be like a 91, 92. And his play action probably like a 94, 95. His car would be really, really good, you know, passing the ball, running. He'd be, he'd be similar to Michael Vick, except behind the card stats go crazy as well right his agility will be above a 90 his excel will be well above a 90 his jumping will be close to a 90 his stamina will probably be a 90 his carrying will be above an 80 his juke move will probably be a 90 his change of direction will be above a 90 his stiff arm will be in the 60s ball carry vision above a 90 spin move probably high 80 and then his break sack will probably be mid 90 his break tackle will probably be an 80 this card would be really really fun i would love to see a lamar jackson upgrade him and rg3 two guys i'm waiting for and jalen hurts right those three guys Three really fun upgrades. And then for the current hero, this is going to be the player from this week that had a good night, had a good day on the ground, you know, had a good day in general. You guys probably know who it is. I mean, people are pretty, pretty sure it's going to be this guy. CD Lamb definitely looks like he's in line for a card here. He has not gotten any good cards this year, and CD Lamb would be fun. CD Lamb, again, 94 overall, powered up and everything. Let's see what he'll look like. So CD Lamb, 94, that would give him a plus 10. That would that would give his speed like a, that would make speed like a 94, 95. Which I don't know if they'd give him that, but his speed's definitely going to be much higher because his team builder is 87, right? It's got to be decently higher. 94, 95 speed. He'll end up with like close to 90 jumping, close to 90. He'll, he'll end up with close to 90 jumping. He'll probably end up with around 90 catching, 89 catching traffic, 91 spec, and he'll end up with 90 deep, like probably 90 medium, and probably 88 to 89 short. He'll be an insane card if he gets the stats he's supposed to get based off of this card, because this card looks kind of juice for his overall. He'd be insane. He'd be crazy fast with really good route running and catching. And then behind this card too, right? He'll have above 90 change of direction, like well above 90. He'll have above 90 juke, above 90 spin, close to high 80 stiff arm. This card would be really good. 90 break tackle. This card would be a real, real good wide receiver. But guys, this is about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's predictions. If you guys need the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, guys, comment down below who your biggest snub of this week is. Like, who's the guy you think should get it? And we'll know tomorrow if they're the biggest snub if they don't end up getting a card. 
Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.